Dudes, what's happening? It's Trent here, and uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my Sketchbook Pro brushes that I've created. These are pretty much what you'll see me using for almost all of my all of my Sketchbook Pro paintings this year. Um, I'm going to keep adding to it, but for right now, here's what we got. This is your pretty much your standard uh, pencil. This is uh, nothing fancy. It's pretty close to the uh, out of the box uh, uh, pencil, but I like it. I use a I use it a lot because it has a good uh, like small to thick kind of uh, uh, pressure sensitivity, and I, I I tend to use it for a lot of different things. This one here is called the uh, the grainy pencil, and I like it because it's got a little bit of a noise to it, um, and it feels a lot more like what you'd kind of expect from a um, almost like a watercolor pencil. Um, I get a lot of mileage out of this one, but it also has a good amount of pressure sensitivity uh, set to the uh, the scale of the of the brush. So this is really good for like build up. You know, if you uh, if you begin to blend and then like build up, I do this a lot with the uh, with a lot of my paintings when I get when I get more painterly with it. But it's also great for line art um, uh, line art drawing as well. Next up, we have the uh, hard eraser. This is pretty standard stuff. And then I, I keep a soft eraser. These are the tools that, I find these are the most essential uh, kind of minimal, minimal effective uh, brushes that I can use. This one here is uh, pretty similar to my, um, to my pencils, except that there's no, no scale set to the pressure sensitivity. It's actually opacity. So what's great about that is uh, also a good buildup brush because if you're making like a transition of color, it's really easy to blend with this one. Uh, you'll notice I'm like barely pressing, and then I'm color dabbing a lot to get the uh, to get. So if you do like something like a bright yellow up here, then what you can do is uh, because it's it's the the blending is set to or the opacity is set to pressure, it gets a nice blend in between. And then uh, the next up is is similar to that one, but it's got a bit more uh, grain to it. So this is more of like, a, it is a brush. So I've, I've labeled it closer to be like a like a, a brush, but it has a really interesting um, brush texture and grain to it. And this is also good for blending, but it gets a little bit hard. So you want things like blenders, and I'm gonna get to those uh, later in the, uh, as, as we progress through these here. Uh, next up is of course the uh, standard Pretty standard airbrush. This is particularly effective when you blend it, when you combine it with uh, uh, something like this, where you can actually like draw in selections like masks. They used to do this with airbrushes, like real airbrushes, and then you you fill that. So really effective when in a combination with that, and you could actually like do your highlights this way if you want a super comic booky coloring process and do like a highlight bam nice there you go you'll get these like neat edges um next up is the chalky brush i like to get a little chalky now and then this one has a a lot of texture to it so it's really effective in large kind of uh movements but or large brushes but uh, you can use it in a number of different ways. It's good for getting a little bit of texture on some stuff, specifically spattering things around. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, my grass brush, which if you watched my tutorials, I showed you exactly how to make this one. I just made it official. It's now in my uh, official uh, collection of brushes. And then uh, this one's one of my favorite. This is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is here and we're in effect. Want you to push it. <laughs> That's right. So uh, this, this gives you a chance to push it with my salt and pepper. Uh, really great for blending. You know, if you start getting like mixing in layer effects with this as well. Oh man, you can have so much fun. So much fun. Let's color burn it. Let's color burn it with some like purples. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> I love this one. Oh man, it's like uh just adds a little bit of like that's like a uh, a power saturator right there. Bam! All right, next up, 
This is, uh, this is, we're still on that color burn layer, so let's go back down here. Actually, let's create a new one on top of everything. So uh, this one is, is my bushy, bushy brush. And bushy brush is great for specifically, specifically bushy brush is great for making trees. You saw me um, make this brush in one of my tutorial videos. So you too can have the power of the bushy brush if you so desire. All this can be yours. All right. Um, that is a fancy one and I love that one to pieces. That then you of course have the blur, uh, blur brush which allows you to just blend everything together when you want to get everything super soft. But you have to be careful with this one because if you over blur, man, you could lose all that rendering that you've done. Really good for creating like um, perspective or like a focal point, you know, type stuff. But like I said, you gotta be careful just to barely tap it. Oh man, it's almost, that's too much. Okay, uh, last up is the uh, lovely chain brush, which you've seen me use before as well. I also did a tutorial on how to make the chain brush. Really cool for making chains. You could use this, uh, you know, any one of these brushes, you can, you know, dupe it, modify it, um, make it work for your dealy bob, whatever it is that you got going on. I don't care. That's cool. All right, dudes, uh, that's it for my uh, 2017 Sketchbook Pro brushes. This was something that a lot of people have been requesting of me, and I've just been too busy to really set aside time until today. I realized, hey, you know what? It's a Sunday, and, uh, you know, happy, uh, happy Sunday. I guess I should tell you how to actually get these. You can find them at my Gumroad in the uh, text field below the video. You can swing on over there and pick that up. All right, dudes, have fun with this. If you do some cool paintings with these, uh, be sure to tag me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, I would love to see anything that you create with these brushes. All right, dudes, that's it for me. Uh, I will catch you in the next video. Ciao.